Hey guys, I'm Savvy and I'm a traveler and explorer from India. So if you are new to my channel or if you have been following me for some time, you might feel that we have lots of travel videos from northern part of India and also from western part of India, eastern India and from Maharashtra area and lots of travel videos from international destinations. However, we do not have much videos from southern part of India. So do you think I'm a new travel vlogger? Yes, I am. So I started vlogging one and a half years back, but I have been a traveler for a really long time for the past eight to 10 years. So I have been to many places in India and many places in international destinations as well, but I do not have videos from those places. So in this video, I will be sharing my experience from my trip to Kerala, which is called God's own country because it's so, so beautiful. And what I love most about Kerala is its variety in landscapes. So you have the hills, you have the jungles, you have the sea beaches, you have backwaters. So without any further delay, let's get started. But before I start this video, let me tell you guys that I do not have videos from this trip. So it's few years back in the year 2016 or 17. I don't remember exactly, but I do have some gorgeous photographs and I do have a lot of information. Like I say always, like we all say, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications because we are sharing videos now every week so lots of information lots of travel videos stay with us when we were planning our trip to Kerala so we initially thought that it's a small state and we can just reach to any destination and come back but then as we started planning we came to know that there is so much of varieties and we did not want to miss out any of those places so accordingly our planning changed and you have to have at least seven to ten days time if you want to cover the entire state otherwise you can reach to one particular destination and come back that is also fine so our trip started from Delhi from Delhi we took a flight to Cochin International Airport and then we started started our road trip. So from Cochin, we reached Munnar. So from Munnar, we reached Thekkadi. And from Thekkadi, we reached Alapi. And from Alapi, we reached Trivandrum. We explored Kovalam, Puvar, and we took the return flight from Trivandrum. After we reached Cochin International Airport, so we stayed overnight in one of the accommodation nearby to the airport. Now since we were new to Kerala and we did not have much idea, we wanted to get some hang and some more information about Kerala during that time. So we booked a cab to drop us from Cochin to Munnar. Now, Munnar is a beautiful hill station in the Western Ghats mountain range. It is famous for its beautiful tea plantations as far as you can see. It's so beautiful. So basically it's very soothing to the eyes. It's refreshing and perfect for those gorgeous photographs. It is not only the tea plantations. Munnar is also famous for medicinal herbs, for the elephants, for the spices and for the rivers and lakes as well. We visited Munnar Spices and bought lots of spices and we did elephant riding as well. Me and Anki were sitting in the same elephant. It started walking and it went towards the river. Now when we reached the river, there were other elephants in the river as well. So they were taking bath and they were washing themselves. They, they were really playful and it was such a great sight. Now the head of the elephant, it looked so adorable. It looked more like a baby and we were doing like this to it. So once we reached back from where we started, the elephant, she asked for a banana. I gave her one, but definitely she was not satisfied and asked for more. After the elephant ride, we started exploring the spice garden. So there are guides over there who will actually explain to you all the medicinal values of these herbs. Some of these herbs are really, really helpful. Some of these spices are remedies to some of the major diseases. And if you have requirement, you can buy them and carry them with you. So now one of the best experience from Munnar travel is our visit and speedboat ride in Mattupeti Dam, which is 10 kilometers from Munnar. So while you are doing the speedboat ride, it's really fun. You can reach to the eco point, which is a fantastic area. And also let me tell you that this Mattupeti Dam jetty area, that is a popular picnic spot. By the way, let me mention over here, we stayed in Sterling Munnar, which was a gorgeous property overlooking the hills. And you can book that property. It's a beautiful one. And you have my recommendations over here. And now after all those experiences, it was time to leave Munnar and reach Thekkadi. 
it took us three to four hours to reach Thekadi from Munnar. Now in Thekadi, we booked a beautiful accommodation, Coffee Roots, such a beautiful property. If we go back again to Kerala and I'm going to stay in Coffee Roots once again. Thekadi is famous for Peria Tiger Reserve and tourists often visit this place for Peria Tiger Trail. Now we did not do this Peria Tiger Trail, it would take few days time probably, but we definitely did the other activities which are also famous in Thekadi. Like there is a Peria Lake and you can do bamboo rafting over there. Also you can go for night scout jungle trekking so we reached the forest office uh, to do the bamboo rafting in Peria Lake so you have to do some formalities over there and if I remember it correctly it's slightly more than an hour trek to reach the river from where the actual bamboo rafting starts it's a really really serene experience it's very calm over there and the bamboo raft moves very slowly and we got really lucky we actually spotted a herd of wild elephants there were two babies also. They were taking bath in the river and we had to keep a distance. We did not move forward. That, that's what our guide told us. And it was such a beautiful experience. So at night we really got adventurous and we decided that we will go for night scout jungle trekking at Peria Tiger Trail. And it was around 1 a.m. Trust me, I do not have photographs. Obviously, it was during the night time. We were uh, with the guards, obviously. We were just carefully walking and we were uh, listening to all the sounds from the jungle. But trust me, I was so, so scared. We definitely spotted some wild animals which are not dangerous, but not tiger. And also, if you have some more time, you can go for the local folk dance, the tribal dance, the jungle camping, border hiking. So there are lots of activities that you can do in Thekkadi. And now it's time to reach Alapi. So to reach Alapi, we took bus to reach from Thekkadi to Alapi. It took us few hours. And as you all know, Alapi is famous for the houseboats and its beautiful backwaters. It's so soothing to the eyes, you forget everything and it's strikingly different than Munnar and Thekkadi and of course of all the places that we have visited till now. So one night we stayed in houseboat and another one in some basic homestay. So there is a famous snake boat race held annually in Punnamata Lake. So in Alapi, boats are the local mode of transport for general people as well. And also let me mention over here that we rented a scooty to explore Alapi other than the backwaters like we visited the nearby beach as I mentioned and also visited the paddy fields and we just roamed around to get a flavor and better idea about this beautiful destination Alapi. And lastly, we reached Trivandrum. So to reach Trivandrum from Alapi, we took a bus uh, during the night time and we reached very early in the morning to Trivandrum. So the beautiful Kovalam beach, which is often considered one of the most beautiful beach in India, it is in Trivandrum. So how can someone miss that? Trivandrum is the capital of Kerala and we stayed in Samundra resort of KTDC in Kovalam. It was just by the sea and we enjoyed some most scenic view and had a peaceful time. Now let me tell you that Trivandrum is quite populated. We rented a bike from market at Kovalam beach. We roamed around the city. We also visited some old fishing villages nearby and stopped by random places to enjoy a great view of the sea. And lastly, let me give you some idea about a secret place that is a Poover Island. Any of the accommodations that you book, they will send you the boat to carry you from the mainland to the Poover Island. So you cross the backwaters while reaching towards Poover Island. And when you reach those beautiful accommodations, basically you have beach, the main sea. Then you have a small patch of sand connecting the sea to the backwater, which are really nice areas and you don't want to miss that guys. So we booked accommodation in Poover Island Resort, which is a luxurious accommodation. Obviously it's our last accommodation and we wanted to spend some money on that to end the trip on a very beautiful note. And of course there are some pools and lagoons over there where you can uh, enjoy your time with your family. It's all safe of course and it's a beautiful place to explore if you are visiting Kerala. And soon after that it was time to say goodbye to Kerala as we took our flight back to Delhi from Trivandrum. So guys, as a couple, we did the entire trip in 30,000 to 40,000 Indian rupees. But you can lower down the price by choosing a lower range of accommodation or else you can spend more money in the luxurious resorts over there. So Kerala can be a good choice for honeymoon as well as for the families traveling with children. It is a very safe travel destination 
and as I mentioned in the beginning, it has the varieties, the varieties from hills to jungle to beaches to backwaters and the good food obviously and also guys as you saw in this video so i'm sharing an old experience but since we did kerala trip very much in detail so i thought that this might be useful for many of you but definitely we are going back to kerala very soon and we will bring out more information and a detailed vlog from kerala so let me know your feedback and suggestions your feedback your suggestions which you write in the comment section they, they, they really help us to improve we read each of the comments and we try to reply back to each of the comments you guys are really really nice to us thank you so much and with that i will end this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications video every week guys every week